Hey there, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync iCloud contacts into your Google contacts. That way, any contacts you add to your iPhone automatically get synced into your Gmail contacts. Any contacts you add to Google contacts will automatically get synced to your iPhone. Super easy to set up. Let me show you how. The first thing we're going to do is go to apination.com. And here we are. I'm just going to click on Discover Connections. And here you can see a ton of different real estate apps and productivity apps you can sync. I'm going to click on iCloud. And then I'm going to select Google Contacts. You can see there's a bunch of other options you can sync iCloud to if you have an iPhone. It can really help you manage those contacts and leads. This time we're going to sync it to Google. And here you can see we have two syncs available. One that sends contacts from Google into iCloud. And the other that sends iCloud into Google. I'm going to set up this Google into iCloud first. All right, so the first step to connect Google, I just have to confirm I'm not currently using any other platforms to sync these two apps. If I am using another platform to sync these two apps, I would just turn it off before I turn on the API Nation Sync. Otherwise, we could see some duplicates. All right, I'm going to go ahead and connect Google Contacts. And I'll select the Google account I want to send these contacts to. And allow. All right, now that we've connected Google, we can connect iCloud. I'll click this button. And you can see it's asking for an Apple ID and a password, but this isn't a normal password. It's asking for an app specific password. It's a little bit different. So where do you find that app specific password? Let me show you. It's super easy. So to find my app specific password, I'm actually going to have to create it. And to do that, I'm going to go to Apple ID dot Apple dot com. And I'm going to sign in. And it's going to ask you to authorize using two factor authentication. You're going to see this pop up on your Mac or on your iPhone. And it's also going to send a code to either your Mac or your iPhone, whichever one you're using. So there's that code. I'm going to type it in here. And this is just to get into my Apple ID. Great. Okay. So I've signed into my Apple ID. I've authorized. And now here's this box under sign in and security for app specific passwords. I'm going to click on that and it says I can generate an app specific password. So I'm going to click, I'm going to go ahead and name mine API nation. That's what I'm connecting and hit create. And there is that password. Be sure to copy this before you hit done, because this is the only time you're actually going to see these letters after this, it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to copy that. And now I'm ready to connect iCloud on API nation. Now that we have that app specific password, we're ready to go back to API nation, input it, and then configure and launch. So here we are. I'm going to type in my Apple ID. And paste in that password we just created. There it is and hit connect. All right, this is it. The final step for this first sync. You can see there's a few options here. For example, I can choose a contact group or label in Google contacts to send over to iCloud. So if I only want to send over a select group of people from Google contacts, I can choose them here. Maybe only want to send over new contacts, people I've labeled as new or hot. I could do that. I'm going to go with default. That'll send over everybody who's currently in this Google contacts. I can also check this box to sync all contacts on first run. That's going to go ahead and go all the way back in time and sync any contacts into iCloud right now. If I uncheck this box, it's only going to sync any new contacts from today going forward. So as the sync starts, it'll start monitoring to see if anything new shows up. And if it does, it'll send it into iCloud. I'm going to go ahead and check this box to send in all those contacts I currently have in Google contacts in the iCloud. Finally, I can come down here and double check the map. We do most of this for you. You can see first name, middle name, last name. This all looks great. If I'm going to come on down, I have a few extra fields here. Email, birthday and website. It looks like I already have primary email set up. So I can use this as a secondary email. So I'll go ahead and do home email. Date of birth can go to birthday. And that all looks great. I'm going to go back to the top and activate the sync. So there we go. Our first sync is active. We're now sending any contacts from Google contacts into iCloud. So anything I add to Gmail is automatically get adding to my iPhone. I'm going to have that caller ID updated. Now I'm going to click on that iCloud bubble here at the top and we're going to set up its partner sync 
to go the other direction. So we're going to send an iCloud to Google Contacts. So I'm going to hit activate on that sync so I can create a two-way sync. And because we've already connected both of these apps to API Nation, we get skipped along to the final stage here. Here again, I can sync all contacts on first run. So all the contacts that currently exist in iCloud can get sent into Google Contacts. Or if the box is unchecked, only any new contacts from today going forward. I want to get caught up, so I'm going to go ahead and check that box. I can also have anything synced from iCloud into Google Contacts labeled. I could do that. Currently, you can see it's set to default. That means it's just going to add it to Google Contacts without any label. But if I want, I can select an existing label or create a new one. I'm going to create one called iPhone Contacts. There we go. And then we also have an option. If I check this box, it's only going to add information to any blank fields. Currently, the box is unchecked. That means it's going to overwrite any information it finds for matching contacts. I just want it to fill in the blanks, so I'm going to check the box. Come down here, the mapping. Last time we set up email to home email, so I'll do that again. And birthday to date of birth. This all looks great. Go back to the top and activate this sync. And there we go. We now have two active syncs, one going from Google Contacts to iCloud, the other going from iCloud back to Google Contacts. Now, as soon as I add any contact to my iPhone, it's automatically going to show up in my Gmail contacts, my Google contacts. If I add a contact from Gmail or Google contacts, it's going to get added to my iPhone. The caller ID is going to be updated. I can shoot them a text. I don't have to add them from another app. It's going to save a bunch of time and make contact management a lot easier. If you have any questions or ideas or would like some guidance as you set this up, just give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.